Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, we will discuss on homework self practice 1.2 C. So this is question number one. The table on the right shows the resistance of a length of wire varies as the radius of its cross section. A. Determine whether the resistance R of the wire varies inversely as R square. And B. Calculate the radius in mm of the wire if the resistance is 25 ohm. So, first find the value of R square and then uh, R square time with R. So, have a look at this. We got all the same values here. So, we can conclude that R varies inversely as R square. For B, so R varies inversely as R square. Then, write in the form of equation. Substitute the value of R and the R resistance here and the radius. And then you will get the value of K equals to 1.44. Substitute that into the formula. Next, substitute the value of uh, resistance here, 25. Then you will get R equals to 0 0.24. Question number 2. The number of cubes B produced from a fixed quantity of metal varies inversely as the cube of its sides PCM ok so B varies inversely as the cube of its side so P cube so this is in the equation form substitute the value of B and P here then you will get the value of K hence B equals to 54 over P cube next Calculate the value of P when B equals to 250. Then substitute the value of P here. Then you'll get P equals to 0 0.6. Question number 3. The number of oscillation A of a simple pendulum varies inversely as the square root of the length of the pendulum. So A varies inversely as the square root of the length of the pendulum P. Given the number of isolation is 9 when the length of the pendulum is 36, then substitute the value of uh, A and P here. Then you get the value of K, substitute that into the formula. So here is actually not B here. This is a typing error, should be A here. Sorry for that. So this is A. Next, substitute the value of A to calculate the length of the simple pendulum. So, the length just now is P. So, the value of P is 12.96. Okay. Uh, have a look at homework. So, I'll practice 1.3a. Number 1, write the in the form of variation and in the form of equation. For each of the following combined variation. So A, W varies directly as the cube root of W and inversely as the square root of X. So this is in the equation form by adding the K here. For B, F varies directly as G and H cube and inversely as square root of P. So this is in the equation form. F equals to K G H cube over square root of T. For C, A varies directly as the distance travel S and, the, and inversely as the square of the time taken, so T square here, by the object. So in the equation form, A equals to K S over T square. Number two. The time taken, T hours, to arrange uh, chairs in a hall varies directly as the number of chairs and inversely as the number of workers involved. B. It is given that five, worker, five workers use two hours to arrange 1,000 chairs. 
So express D in term of C and P. So this is in the relation of ratio form. So uh, write in the equation form. Substitute the value of P, P and C here. Uh, to calculate the value of K. So this is the value of P, P and C. All are given in the question. Then you get K equals to 1 over 100. Hence T equals to C over 100 P. Question number T, a tree. It is given that M varies directly as the square of N and inversely as P. So first calculate the value of K by substituting the value of M, P and N as given in the question. Then you'll get K equals to 1.5, 1 over 5. Hence, M equals to N squared over 5P. Next, question A, the value of P. So uh, here we want to calculate the value of P. So we just use this formula and substitute the value of M and N. Then you will get the value of P equals to 1.44. For B, uh, we want to find the value of N. So we just substitute the value of M and P into this formula. Then you will get N equals to 10. So question number 4. The table on the right shows the changes in three quantities, T, E and F. It is given that T varies inversely as the square root of E and the cube of F. So we write in the relation variation like, like this. Then calculate the values of A and B. So first write in the equation form. Substitute the value of E, F and T as given in the table. And uh, we will get the value of K. Hence, T equals to 48 over uh, uh, square root of E, F cubed. Next, to find the value of A, so just substitute T here with A. And also, substitute the value of E and F, uh, 36 and 0 0.4 here. Next, you will get A. Next, to find the value of B, substitute the value of E here as B. Then you calculate, you will get B equals to 2.25. So, homework self-practice 1.3B. Question number 1. Mr. Kamal wants to install rectangular tiles in his bedroom. The number of tiles needed, J, varies inversely as the length and width. So J varies inversely as the length P and the width L. Of the tile used, Mr. Kamal needs 120 pieces of tile if the, if the tile is 0.4 meter in length and 0.5 meter in width. So write in the equation form, then uh, we will Calculate the value of K by substituting the value of J, P and L. So the K is 24. Substitute back into the formula. Then A. Calculate the number of tile needed if the length is 0 0.2 and the width is 0 0.3. So this is the value of P and L. So you just substitute the value of P and L here. Then you get the value of J. Which is 400. For question B, if the area of the tile increases, what is the change in the number of tile needed? So, if the area of the tile increases, of course, the number of tile needed will decrease. Okay, question number 2. The average number of daily phone call C between two cities varies directly as the population of the two cities P1 and P2, and inversely as the square of the distance. So this one directly, directly varies, varies directly. So we put in the denominator, in the numerator, 
and inversely as a square of the distance so we put in the uh, denominator then substitute uh, right in the form of equation then substitute the value of p1 p2 and j here then we will get the value of k all these values are given in the phase state so k equals to 0 0.03 then substitute back into the formula Question number one, the distance between city P and Q. So we want to calculate the distance between P and Q given the population and the and also the phone call. So we just substitute the value of C, this one P1 and P2, then you get the value of J. Next, for question B, use the same formula, substitute, uh, here calculate the population of city J, population of city, so substitute the formula, of, uh, substitute the value of uh, J here and also the P1 here. P2, you just uh, substitute J here. So, given also the distance is uh, 351 and the average number of daily phone calls, this is C. So, then you will get J equals to uh, 70,400. Okay, thank you. That's all for this video. See you in the next video.